Hey y'all, so we are currently staying in Vienna right on St. Stephen's Square next to the St. Stephen's Cathedral um, and we are staying at Hotel Roy Royal. I don't know if they say it Royale or Royal. It was built in 1856 so it's a pretty old hotel so we wanted to give you a kind of a room tour. This is our entryway from the door and we have a nice size closet which is actually something that you don't find a lot of in Europe and that goes to the bathroom nice size tub but for me being short it's very high we got our washcloths and there we go hello and then you just walk in here and there's the beds this is how they do it in Europe they have like twin beds but they're pushed together and they consider it a double it's a pretty cool hotel there's Melinda working I don't come with the room did you hear that guys <laughs> so sad so sad Good morning. Good morning, Gallivanters. How y'all doing this morning? We are in beautiful Vienna. We are on uh, Stevens Box, which is the uh, square around uh, St. Stephen's Church here in Vienna. And we are going to do Tracy's favorite thing today. Ride the Hobo Bus. We're going to go ahead and walk through uh, Vienna to the uh, Hobo Bus stop. And we'll just uh, let you guys kind of see what it's like walking through uh, the center of Vienna. So one of the things that we found very interesting here, guys, is they have these a lot of these little covered walkways. It reminds us a little bit of Paris. Um, and they're nice little shortcuts, but just uh, just some cool little areas to go explore. This is the Vienna Opera House. She had her first ho ho bus experience. Tourist. I had to tell her to breathe. Well, first of all, there was a guy on there who had his Google Maps on talking to him while we were driving around and trying to listen to the commentary, so... On the ho-ho bus that tells you where you are and what's around. Yeah. So, you couldn't really hear, and then we had a couple with a younger child in front of us, and the child, you know, was obviously not interested in the ho-ho bus, and certainly didn't have earphones in, and was talking the whole time, and the mom got up and changed seats I think at least five times and she kept getting up and walking around and going down and talking to the driver and was just they were just all over the place yeah that was a little frustrating matter of fact they were getting on the next bus we're transferring buses to go up to the palace and so anyway we skipped that bus and we're going to wait and go to the next bus so they're not on Alright guys, we hey guys. are 
Schönbrunn, Schönbrunn, which means palace, which means beautiful spring. And this was the Habsburg summer residence. I guess they owned the property since the mid 1500s, but then they really started building it up in the um, middle 1700s. And then it kind of went unoccupied, and then they redid it for the Vienna Conference, which I think was 1915. And it's just beautiful. Hey y'all, so we are currently walking through. We're walking from Hero Square past the, I think it's the National Library and a couple of the museums. And we are on our way to Cafe, Cafe Demel. De De we're not quite sure how to say it. D E M E L. For a late lunch because we're starving. We are starving and we need coffee. Yes, yes. So. Coffee is a must. We made it to the pancake spot and they have sweet and savory, which is awesome. And we have our savory first, which is a ham and gouda. Oh yeah. So just basically it's a big ham and cheese fried ball. Alright, here we go. Good? <laughs> It's kind of hard to go wrong with fried cheese, <laughs> you know. It would be good. Hey y'all, this is really what we came for. So this is the pancake. Actually, just how I like it. <laughs> Seems to be anyway. A little bit of apple on there. Cranberry. Cranberry. You can go get on there so I know what it tastes like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> it's like no pancake I've ever had before. Alright, y'all. 
There it is. That's the remnants. Highly, highly, highly recommend this place if you guys come to Vienna. Hey, y'all. Hey, Gallivanters. First of all, Vienna is a beautiful city. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The architecture, the buildings, just, yeah. The people are super friendly, and it is a very, at least here in the city center, a very, very clean city. You could spend an entire day at Schaumbrunn. Yes. There are, there's the gardens, there's of course the tours of the actual palace itself, there's the carriage museum, the there's stables, the whole zoo, yeah they've got a zoo. zoo. I mean a full, full, full day there if you wanted to. Yes. Uh, so definitely, you know, put that on your list and allow some time to, to really check it out. Lots to do here, beautiful city, and so far highly recommend it. Absolutely. If you like this video and you want to see more, please hit the like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you want to get notifications, hit the bell. Dingy dong. We will also have this all written up on our blog at gallivantgals.com. And we will see y'all later. See ya. Bye, y'all.